Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. Today is another episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotation, episode 91 in fact, so that means we need to make sure that we hit 910 likes on this video. I know we can do it. Last week I think we smashed like 1200 likes, which is really, really, really crazy. Sorry for the lack of videos this week. I have been super busy with basketball and other stuff, so I did not have much time to make many videos this week, but next week I'll be right back at it. But starting things off on Sunday, I wore the Puma R698 in this all over red suede colorway. It's a very comfortable shirt. Um, after wearing them, I think this is the second time I've worn them. They've started to break in a little bit more and they are amazingly comfortable. Speaking of another shoe that's comfortable, on Monday I wore the Air Jordan Future. I wore these with a thick pair of wool socks and surprisingly they weren't actually that cold to wear in the middle of January. It was a terrible day, like the wind chill, it was like negative 34 degrees Celsius or something like that, but it wasn't actually that bad wearing these. Went to go watch a uh, varsity basketball game at the school where I coached junior varsity. Pretty fun game to watch. Um, don't honestly remember what I even did besides that on Monday, but that is one thing that I did on Monday, and I also wore the Air Jordan Future in this gym red colorway. Great sneaker, $150 is a bit expensive for what it is. It's basically a sock on top of an Air Jordan 11 outsole, but it's a great shoe nonetheless, and I wish I had a few more pairs of Futures, especially that premium infrared colorway, which is amazing. But speaking of Jordan 11 outsoles, on Tuesday, I actually wore the Jordan 11 IE Low in this referee colorway. This thing is great. Like, this is the first time I broke these out. They're extremely comfortable. Like, the Future and the Jordan 11 IE Low, night and day in terms of comfort. These things are 10 times more comfortable than the Future. I don't know why, because they have the same tooling, so you'd think they have pretty much the same comfort, but that is not the case. This colorway is really awesome. On Tuesday, I was coaching a basketball game for my JV guys. We won by like 29, pretty good performance by them. It was a pretty fun game to coach and I wore these referees while coaching the game. One thing I love about the Jordan 11 IE Low is that they come with proper eyelets on the shoe. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the eyelets or the uh, lacing system on the regular Jordan 11s, so the actual eyelets on the IE Low is a nice touch in my opinion. Moving on to Wednesday, I wore the Nike SB Dunk Low BHM Premium Quick Strike. I think that's, I think I got everything that's on the tag, but these things retailed for $98, which is just a mind-blowingly low price considering how awesome these are. These are my only pair of uh, Nike SBs, which is, you know, it's a shame that I only have one pair of Nike SBs because they're super comfortable. Nike SB puts out so many nice colorways. I don't know if you guys have seen that colorway. It's like called a Sasquatch or something. It's basically just this long-haired brown suede over the entire upper. Those things look sick. If those are like a GR and they're easy to get, I will definitely be picking those up because those things are awesome. But for the time being, I'll have to live with these, the BHM Dunk Low. Moving on to Thursday, coached another basketball game. Sadly, we didn't win this one. Uh, lost by six. I think it was a pretty intense game. Unfortunately, we did not pull it out though. But uh, on uh, Thursday, I wore the Stan Smiths, as you guys can see. See, this is like the third time I've worn these, if I'm correct. They're starting to break in a little bit more, leather's starting to get a little bit more creased up, and they're starting to get a bit more comfortable as well. The leather was really hard and pinched on your feet the first couple times I wore them, but it's starting to soften up and mold to my foot a little bit more, which makes them more comfortable. Also, I laced them in a different way than I did the past couple times, and I think I like this way better. Uh, I just uh, lace them like a regular bow like you would on regular shoes from the second to the top eyelet if you guys are wondering, but that is what I wore on Thursday. Moving on to Friday, had a tournament this weekend out of town, not super far out of town, but it was like an hour drive-ish, 45 minutes maybe, and I wore the Nike Air Foam Posit one in this gym red colorway. These things are sweet, like these are amazing. As one of the kids on my team says, these are lit AF. Like these things are sweet. These are all red, which you guys know I'm a fan of. These are foam posits, which you guys know I'm a fan of. And I don't even know what else to say about these. Like these are awesome. Like honestly, probably one of my top 10 favorite shoes in my collection right now. When I do end up doing top 10 favorite shoes in my collection of 2016, uh, probably early summer, late spring this year, these will most definitely be in that list because these things are sick. Absolutely love wearing them. This is the first time I've worn them this year and it will not be the last. And wrapping things up on Saturday, had two basketball games on Saturday once again. Uh, my team actually managed to win both of them, so good job guys. Shout out to the dude from Stonewall that recognized me and said what's up and shout out to the dudes from Westgate that recognized me and said what's up. It's always cool to see you guys out in real life and for you guys to say hi. I do appreciate all you guys watching my videos, especially like, well, all of you. I appreciate 
appreciate all of you equally, whether you live in Winnipeg and say hi to me or whether you live in Uzbekistan and will never see me ever. I appreciate all of you guys watching, but I wore the Kamikaze ones on Saturday. Really comfortable shoe, really great shoe. I wear these things a lot. Uh, I really need to clean these. These things are filthy. I know the camera's not really showing it, but they are filthy. But that is going to wrap up this episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotation. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you, as I said, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Until then, peace.